another beautiful episode of Never a Boring Moment with Vandoline. Please do like, subscribe, share, comment, and make sure you hit that notification button because you cannot afford to miss any of my videos. Anyways, today, today's video is taking a different route. Yes, it's taking a different route. If you watched my get to know me video, you will definitely know what I'm talking about. So today we're talking about the business side of and me. I yes. will be very, very happy to share a lot about what I do as my side hustle. Yes, my side hustle. Before we start, before we get deep dive to what I do, to the benefits of what I do, let's start with the power of mindset. Now, what type of mindset do you have? Do you have a fixed mindset or you have an open mindset? Are you willing and ready to learn, grow, and explore? Oh, you're just okay with where you are. You're just so comfortable. You feel like, mm -mm, I don't want to do that. Uh -uh, I'm okay. I think I'm okay. What kind of mindset do you have? Do you know how your mindset can influence you to become who you want to be or to remain where you don't want, where you don't want to be? Now, so this amazing video is not going to be brought to you by me. It is brought to you by an amazing lady, a very intelligent, smart lady, my business partner, my senior business partner. She does it so perfectly. She is so amazing with what she does and she do it and she does it with love and joy. She does it with so much passion. So she's going to elaborate on the power of mindset. And please, you have to share because this is so powerful. You cannot just enjoy good things all by yourself. Oh, no. Anyways, without wasting so much of your time, let us welcome Adebimpe Shaloye. Welcome, sister. The floor is yours. Bye. What do we do as a team? We go out to share the information that has been going on for decades that most people are still yet to know. Or probably some of us must have heard about it, hasn't had yet, or you just keep the information to yourself. So today, um, I'm going to be talking on the power of mindset. But before that, uh, like I said, my name is Hadidi Mpishiroyi. I'm a wife, a mother, daughter, sister. That's my husband sitting down here. He's one of our team as well. He, he told me that I have to be the speaker out there, so it's okay. I got it. So today, uh, as I now, I have my bachelor's in business administration, bachelor's in marketing, and as well, I'm a certified cloud IT. Uh, also, I am a licensed financial professional. That's my picture on the right side. And here, on my left hand side here, that is my job, my job. I work as a hospitality department of food and beverage, Gaylord Myriot Hotel. So today, I'll be talking on the power of mindset. The power of mindset. As I'm seeing all these beautiful faces, I know we are all knowledgeable. So, like I said, you must have heard about it. But I want us to have an open mind for this little information that we brought up to you all the way from Maryland as a team because we want to communicate to as many as possible. And like I said, if you already know about most of some of the things we're going to talk about today, I want us to go out there. Let's reach out to the family. The dream is real. It's real. There is no scam. There is nothing there. That is what people are using to make work. So the power of mindset is my topic before 
the uh, powerful guest speaker come on board to talk to us today. So understanding mindset. Mindset is a dynamic force that either constrain or propel personal growth and success. Our mindset can be positive or negative. And mindset is the less through which individual perceive and interact, interpret, sorry, the word, which mindset shapes the attitude, belief, and responses. It encapsulates the inherent mental frame that influence our challenges and how challenges are approached. Learning is embraced and resilience is cultivated. What do I mean by that? You know, the way we think in life is very powerful to our individual life. What goes on in your mind is so powerful. It's the power of our mindset. So, like I said, it can constrain, propel you of growth. It can retain your growth. That is how powerful our mindset is. We have two types of mindset. One is limited mindset. Like limits belief and system in the prosperity. That is fixed mindset. What am I saying in nutshell? When you have a mindset that is fixed, that means you have a closed mindset. You are not giving a room for other opportunity to come in. You are not welcoming other challenges. You are not welcoming Anything that they tell you that, oh, this thing might be good. But probably because of your traditional belief, you think, no, 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 it's not good for me. This is how we do it, and this is how it has to remain. That is fixed mindset. But when we are talking about growth mindset, growth mindset involves questioning and changing one's belief to foster personal development. That is growth mindset. Growth mindset help you to question yourself. Why am I in this position? What can I do to drive me, move me forward from one stage to another? That is growth mindset. So I want to ask us, as we are sitting down here, which one do you think you have? Do you have the fixed mindset or do you have the growth mindset? Which one do you think you have? I want us to, you know, as I'm going along, I want us to be having those things. Think about it. Because we still have a lot to talk, to talk about. Mindset. How we think, heart, believe, determines how far we get in life. You know, we, most of us, we are from Africa, right? But all because... Uh, we came all the way from Nigeria, Cameroon, name it. Some of us, our belief is that when you get to this country, the only way you can make it is either you are IT or you are, you are in the medical line. If you are not in those, those two places, you can you hardly go in nowhere. That, like they always say. That is mindset. That keep people to remain the same in a particular place. Even though they don't like those things that they are doing, but all because they said that is the only thing you can do to succeed in this country, they remain in that place. Our, our color does not mean we cannot go either. If Barack Obama has a fixed mindset, he will never become the first black American president. I want us to know that. It's because he welcomed a growth mindset. That is why he became the first black American president. So, I want us to, 
you know, put them at the back of our mind. The next slide says emotional mental intelligence. So why do some people see failure differently? Can anybody help me with that? How do we think people see failure differently? Anybody want to say something? You know, let's make it interactive. Don't just sit down and say, uh, she's talking. I want people to, you know, say something. How do you think when you fail and you feel so, some people see so differently that they cannot even handle failure? How? And some people, it keeps them, you know? Anybody want to say something? Mindset. Thank you. Any other person? You can use this. I don't mind coming down. <laughs> well, we all see mindset differently because, uh, I mean, we all see failure differently because uh, failure is quite a negative thing when anybody fails. I mean, I think it starts from while we are. Um, children going to school and going to elementary and all that. Even in our household, when we fail at any particular uh, um, endeavor, we, we as children get uh, um, a get, like, let me go back to what being in school. When you get a bad grade, when you fail, it means you get a get bad grade. And when you get a bad grade, get a bad uh, rep in terms of you not being a successful person and, and all that. So that happens is where the mindset of failure or how people see failure differently really originates from and how we perceive my, uh, failure as a, as a negative um, effect that, that literally injures uh, most people. Thank you so much for that response, and thank you, Mom, for that. So, I'll, I'll say why some people see uh, failure differently. It's because it gives them room to start all over again. You fail this time, some people motivate themselves that, oh, since I failed this one, that means I can do better when next I try. It helps them to adopt another new channel. That means if this one doesn't go, I believe when I try the next time, I'm going to do more better. That is if you have a growth mindset. Then the second question says, what keeps them going despite repeated failure? What keeps them going? What drives them? Even though they know that, oh, I failed, and they still keep going. Because they know that me failing is going to help me to do great, to adopt more knowledge, to gather more information in order to become better. They never give up. They keep moving because they know one day, they know where they are going to, and one day they're going to get there. And how do they motivate themselves? They motivate themselves because they know that they have this thing that they are, I'm looking up to. Oh, I'm going to get it one day. One day I will be there. It might take me a long time, but the motivation is one day I will be there. I will get there and I will get it better. The next one is this guy. I just, you know, put the pictures. When I saw it, I was like, how come somebody failed 5,000 times? 5,000 times. Not, you know, not one, seven, two, three, four, five, not even 100 times. That's James Dyson. He failed 5,126 times. To get this backup technology done. It dry, when I saw it, I was like, for real? That is what motivates him is that one day, if I get it done, I will be celebrated. And that is why we can see his name everywhere. That is why we can use the products. 
That is why it's being known. Because he has a growth mindset. You will face some struggle along the way. But as long as you stay committed, you can change your life. We all have our plans. If I started asking everybody now, can you tell me your plan? Oh, by the time I'm 20 something, I want to be this, I want to be that. By the time I'm 40, I got to cut my house, pay off my bills, no more, you know, no more paying bills again. I have my car, my kids probably, they are already in private schools. You know, we all want that dreams to go like this. To just go, you plan it, just to ride it like, you know, you are driving your car in a smooth way. But the reality is that there will be storm on the way. That is the reality. So the question now is that when that storm comes, how do you handle it? How do we handle it? Do we give up or we keep going? That is the question I want us to ask ourselves. Do we give up or we keep going? Because the reality of life, you will face it. Are we the type that have the fixed mindset? No, 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 no. That is how we do it. And that is how it has to be. Or you are the one that is open up to questioning. I want to get better. I have to do it. I can do it. I remember when I first got my first job in this country. I was like, when I got to the job, I was like, you know, I just applied. You know, when you just go to America, you want to start making money, blah. I got there, I applied. Never realized I the type of job that I want to go and be doing, right? <laughs> so, after the training and everything, orientation for three days, I was still on my suit, you know, going there. Then after the orientation, they now give me my card that this is what I'm going to be doing. I was like, how am I going to cope? We started the training. Walking like, sometimes I will be crying like, can I make, can I, I don't think I can do this job. I can't. I was telling myself, but... One day, I was going down for lunch, and I saw this woman, very old woman, doing the same thing that I just started. I questioned myself. I, had, I greeted her, and I said, what department are you? She told me at department. How long have you been doing this? You said, so, 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 yeah. I said, what? Oh. So when I heard that from her, I was like, if she can do it, how old am I? What is wrong with me? That will say I cannot do it. I have to do it. And that was what kept me going. We were about eight on that training, but only two made it. I was the number one and the other lady. So how are we open-minded? Even though if it is difficult, if you are facing those trials, can you push yourself and tell yourself that I will do it. I can do it. That's what brought me to this ladder, the next slide. Sorry. So, I was like, I need to do this. I want us to look at these stages. Where do we think we belong? What stage are we? I want to do it. Those things that you plan to do. Or you see others doing that you think that you can do it. Are you saying to yourself, I won't do it? Are you telling yourself, I cannot do it? Or I want to do it? How do I do it? I will try to do it. No, I can't. I can do it. Are you the one that tell yourself, I can do it, right? Or, I will do it. And the final one says, yes, I did it.
It is possible. It is possible. All we need to do is to open our mind and believe in our thinking, in our thoughts. Our thought, our mindset is so powerful that it goes with our life. We just don't know. It's because people don't really pay attention to that. The way you think goes along with you. Take you to places. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my God. How are you guys feeling right now? How are you feeling right now? If you have watched this far, how do you feel? Tell me what type of mindset do you have? Please just comment it right down there because right now I'm so excited because you cannot watch this far and you have not learned something. Like, there will be a question mark somewhere. Thank you for watching this far and I cannot just wait. I cannot have. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching this far. And please do like, subscribe, share, comment, and make sure, please, hit that notification button because you cannot afford to miss. Such an amazing video. You cannot. You cannot. Please, you cannot. Anyways, if you haven't watched my previous videos, my Get to Know You video, yes, that one. And also, five most amazing things that, hmm, that you get to benefit when, as a single lady. If you're afraid of being single, please do click and watch, please. And watch. Hmm? Thank you so much for watching. Never a boring moment with Vandalin. Be happy and see you next time in another video. And may God bless you. Bye.